I'm Kim Dagnies, Master Trainer at Physique 57's New York City Studios. And I'm here to introduce to you Physique 57 Beginner Bar Full Body Workout. For this video, you will need a sturdy piece of furniture, set of three or five pound weights, thick towel or cushion, mats, and a playground ball. To my right is Holly. She'll be showing you some beginner modifications as well as some prenatal modifications because I'm excited to share with you that Holly is 17 weeks pregnant. And to my left is Lauren. She'll be showing you some challenges. Now, it is never too late to start a new fitness routine. And with Physique 57, even the most basic exercises can transform your body. All right, let's warm up. So start by standing tall, roll your shoulders back, and let's lift one knee up at a time. Going up and up. Let your arms swing casually down by your sides. Feel that natural sense of opposition. Let's start to lift a little higher. Going up and up and up. So we're starting with your warm up. We're gonna hit every part of your body, thighs, arms, abs, back. You're gonna feel incredible by the time this 30 minutes is over. Let's bring the arms up to the ceiling. Pull the elbows down to the hips. Let's go. Pull and pull and pull. Can you try to stand just a little bit taller? Now twist opposite elbow to opposite thigh. Twist and twist. You have eight more seconds here. Build the heat. One, go two, it's three. Twist in the ribs. Go five, six, seven, and eight. Let's bend your knees. Locate your heavy set of weights. Step your feet to hips width. Knees soft, shoulders back, palms up. Lift for two and lower for two. So take a peek at Holly to my right. She's gonna keep her feet just a little bit wider than her hips to stand nice and tall in her prenatal stance. For two and down, working on the arms. Go up for two and down. This time, hold the weights up, lower halfway down, halfway and lift. Go lower and lift. It's down and up, all right. So keep on going. Take a look at Holly. She's keeping a real tight 90 degree angle. And look over here at Lauren. For a little more of a challenge, can your arms stretch to three-quarter length? Going down and lift. Now hold the weights up. Alternate right arm down and left. Switch, switch, switch. So why is it important to work your biceps here? Right, You want to feel that your muscles are strong, not just looking fantastic, but feeling strong so that everyday tasks can become a little easier for you. All right, let's start to take this out to the side. Here we go, switch and switch and switch. Really good, Holly. Keep your knees nice and soft, chest open and shoulders down. Go switch and switch. Let's do this for eight more seconds. Staying strong, Lauren. One, two, three. Good, nice soft knees here. Five, six, seven, and eight. Now put the weights at your hips. Step your right foot behind you. Turn out your toes, square your chest, and lunge. Left weight will go on your left thigh, right elbow back. Here we go. Kick it back and bend. Go stretch and bend. Make sure your right elbow is really behind you. And then open the chest just a little bit more. Feel that posture. If you're with Holly, you're in a higher diagonal here. Good, that's it. Stretch, you have two more seconds. You got this. Stretch and bend. Now hold your right arm straight. Flip your palm to the ceiling. Open your chest, lunge a little deeper. Deeper. Final five right here. Two, let's hold it. Three, feel that stability on five. Feet, hips width, shoulders roll back. Okay, bend your elbows 90 degrees. Lift your arms to shoulder height. Take a tiny, tiny pulse up and up. So now we're moving on to the shoulders, hitting every part of your arm. Good, take a look at Lauren. Her body weight is slightly forward here, more towards her toes. That's it, go up and up. Let's start to punch this out. Go right, left, right, left. If you're with Holly, take a moment to roll those shoulders out, then come back in. Going right, left, right, left for 10, two, three, four. Sculpting the shoulders, seven, eight, nine, 10. Weights to hips, left foot steps back. Square your chest, lunge, right weight on your right thigh, left arm back and in, go back and in. So important to work the triceps. Triceps make up about two thirds of your arm, right? So really feel that you give attention to this muscle here. Feel the posture. Holly's a little bit higher, a little bit longer. Two more times. Stretch. Almost there. Now arm straight. Palm up and just freeze. Just hold. Try not to underestimate the power of staying still. Just two more seconds. Last time, roll your shoulders back. Stand up tall. Let's put your weights back down to the floor and come down to your hands and knees. Really lengthening through 
through your neck. Now walk your hands slightly forward. Take your arms two inches wider. Lift your toes and shift your body weight forward. Slowly lower your chest for two and then lift for two. Now we're getting into our push-ups here, incorporating the entire body. Go down for two. Okay, six times fast. Here we are. Down and up. Go two. Look at Lauren. Go three. She's getting her chest nice and low. Go four. Just a little deeper. Go five. You have one more. And six. Sit your hips back and stretch your arms out. Roll the shoulders down. Let's return back to your hands and knees. Lift your abdominals. Relax your shoulders. Extend your right leg behind you little pulses go lift and lift so the right leg is gonna be straight right leg is parallel good take a peek at Holly she's shifting her body weight over towards the right okay keep going if you're ready with Lauren tuck your left toes stretch your left leg try the full forearm plank for four go two go three come back down to your knees left leg stretch it behind you pulse it up so right now you're working your core you're still working your arms you're heating up your glutes you're feeling the stretch for long, lean, gorgeous muscles. That's what we achieve here at Physique 57. Now, if you're with Lauren, try the challenge again. Tuck your toes, stretch your leg. Lauren's doing an amazing job getting her elbows to bend a little deeper. Four more seconds, go one, it's two, it's three, and put your knees down. Okay, sit your hips back, stretch your arms. Roll back up, let's go to the triceps again. Swing your feet around. Bring your feet just to hips width. Have your fingertips facing forward. Open your chest, lift your hips, and send them slightly back. Go bend your elbows and press. Down and press. Make sure your elbows point to the back wall. Chest is open. Down and lift. Go down, take it a little faster now. Go down, up, down, up. Feel the heat in the back of your arm. Open the chest, look up. Feel positive thoughts as you work out here for 10, two, three, four. Can your hips move back a little further? Go seven, it's eight, nine, and gently lower your hips down. Let's cross your legs, sit up tall, and you deserve your stretch. Reach up for your right arm, feel the back of your head, press into your forearm, and think at Physique 57, it's all about sprint and recovery. Go to the other side. So you're gonna feel that bird, and let's not be afraid of it, right? Let's go towards it being so brave today. Release your arms, interlace your hands. Now, if you're with Holly, your chest is gonna lift up. If you're with Lauren, dive forward and reach your knuckles towards the ceiling, feeling that expansion in the chest. Take another deep inhale, exhale, roll up, grab a quick sip of water, and I will meet you back at your sturdy piece of furniture for some thighs. For your thigh section, locate your playground ball. Place it between your thighs, just above your knees. Bring your heels together. So your heels are squeezing, your toes are two inches apart. We call this our upright V position. Bend your knees slightly and raise your heels. Let's go. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So right now you should be feeling the lower part of your inner thigh hugging against the ball, sculpting every part of your thigh. Go squeeze and squeeze. Make sure your shoulders roll down, your your hips are just a little lower. Hips are right over your heels, keeping this long, beautiful posture. Squeeze and squeeze. Make sure you're not too far from your furniture. Walk a little forward so that you're just about four arms distance away. Now hold, take your hips down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. We call this our pulse position. Steady bend in the knees, a little faster. Down and down. Pulse and pulse and pulse. Okay, so here the heat should absolutely be building. If you're with Lauren, you're gonna stay just a little bit lower, a little bit deeper. If you're with Holly, you may be staying higher, but you are still feeling that burn, right, Holly? Yeah, there we go. Pulse down and down. Feeling the shoulders are at ease. Think of really isolating your thighs, one body part at a time, but your whole body is working to maintain that tall posture. Now tuck front and back, front and back. We're gonna roll through the hips, roll through the pelvis, feeling the abdominals engage, the lower spine lengthen, keeping your heels glued together. That's it, going front and back and front. Okay, a little faster now. Front, back, front, back. All right, Holly, still feeling that burn, staying just a little higher. And think of this as an amazing prenatal exercise to elongate the lower back, to roll through the hips. Should feel so good for the spine. That's it, eight seconds. Let's go one, yes, Lauren, two, three, look down. Are your heels still together? Five, are your heels still hovering? Seven, now hold, shake, right? 
left, right and left. Getting into those hips, getting into the obliques, a little faster. Go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Shaking it out. Good, okay, Lauren, we're gonna get just a little lower today. Go shake, 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 shake. Woo, she's getting low. That's it, go and shake, 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 shake. Eight more seconds, use that waistline. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now back to the pulse, down and down. Okay, let's flatten your feet. Stick your seat out, keep bending your knees. Keep that steady pulse. Separate your feet to parallel. Can you bend the knees a little deeper? Your elbows are wide, your shoulders are down, your chin is out of your chest. Now hold, raise your right heel up and let's squeeze the ball. Go in, 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 in. Good, feel that length here. Holly might be staying higher, but she's still getting that burn. Lower the right heel, lift the left. Go squeeze and squeeze. That's it, Lauren, ease in the shoulders. Those elbows are high, that back is long. Two more, squeeze. Squeeze, okay, two counts for two, and let's go switch for two. Right heel up for two. We call this our jog here. Yeah, and that jog is gonna promote circulation through the lower extremities to reduce any swelling that may occur in the ankles, especially as your pregnancy progresses. So think this is doing so much more than just making your thighs look amazing, right? This is giving you the benefits, a healthy body, long body. Let's go, single counts if you can, with Lauren. Switch and switch and switch and switch. You building up the heat, feeling that sweat, that's good. You want that heart to rise. You want that cardio blast. We achieve that here. Eight seconds, go two, it's three, it's four, a little bit lower. Go six, seven, hold, flat feet and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, this is where you finish. This is where you gotta stay strong. Maintain your determination. Stick your seat out, get a little deeper, get a little deeper, squeeze it faster. 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and stand up. Let's remove your playground ball. Step tall with your feet together. Bring your right heel to your seat. Soften your left knee. Bring your right thigh slightly back and really square your hips towards the wall in front of you. All right, step your right foot back. Step your left foot forward. Feel the length behind your right thigh. Feel your hips nice and square. Relieving the tension, feeling long and lean in your legs. Let's step the right foot in. Step the left foot to your hand. Soften the right knee. Squeeze your inner thighs tight together and square your shoulders and your hips. Step your left foot behind you, your right foot forward. Press your left heel down. Take one more deep inhale, exhale, and we are ready for set number two. So stand on up, step your feet wider than your hips. Turn out your thighs. We call this position wide second. Roll your shoulders back and sit your hips down a little deeper now, feeling the heat in the legs. Pulse it down, down 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 okay back to that pulse that we did before feel your heels push into the ground feel the strong foundation in your legs and once again work with a neutral spine right that means we're not arched we're not tucked we're feeling long and even in our hips pulse down pulse down keep your thighs turned out here chin out of chest four more one go two go three now hold right arm goes out go right left right let's have some fun shake it right left right left Okay, here's the fun part, right? Lose yourself a little bit, get a little bit deeper. Shake those hips, side, 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 side. Feel your obliques, feel your ribs, chin out of chest. You feel that heat rise? It's not the temperature in your living room, it's your thighs. Four more, one, go two, go three. Put the right hand down and pulse, whoo! Feeling the heat, can you get lower? A Little bit lower, go pulse and pulse. Left arm out, left and right. Go left and right, go left and right. A Little faster, side. Side, side, shake, 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 shake. Okay, Lauren's feeling that burn. Lauren's getting just a little lower. Big smiles, there we go. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Yes, mamas, have fun too. Shake it, Holly, side, 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 side. Work that waistline, you got four more. One, go two, go three and four. Let's come on up, come down to your mat. Keep that momentum going, keep that energy up. You're on your knees. Your knees are just hips width. We call this thigh dancing here. Put your hands on your hips, lift your hips off your heels. Go right, go left, it's right and left. So if you're further along in your pregnancy, feel free to sit this one out, up to you. That's it, shake, let's take it. A little faster now, shake, 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 shake. Good, if you're ready, add the arms, side, 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 side. Now if you're with Holly, maybe take a break. Put your hands back, take a stretch, then jump back in when you're ready.
We're gonna bring the arms a little higher. Go for that shake, side, 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 side. Completely lose yourself. Forget about your day, forget about your obligations. Be here, be now, 30 minutes. You've got 10 seconds. Go one, two, three, four, five. Lean back more. Go eight, nine, 10, and down. Woo! Come on up, step your right foot forward. Put your hands on your right thigh. Scoop your pelvis forward. Shift your body weight forward, staying so lifted, so long. And let's change to the other side. Good, heart rate should be up. I know mine is, we still get that cardio blast here. Scoop the pelvis under, shift forward. Try to keep your hips square here, feeling the length in your right hip. Take a deep inhale, exhale, and congratulations for making it through your thigh section. Meet me back at your sturdy piece of furniture for your seat, work in the back of the body. Moving on to our seat section. Let's come back to your sturdy piece of furniture. Step your feet just together. Take a step back so you're about an arm's distance away from your furniture here. Soften your knees, soften your elbows. Lean just slightly forward, feeling length in your back. Lift your right heel to your seat. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Press back an inch and in. Go back and in. So think a small press, but a huge sensation. A little faster, press, go press and press. Imagine there's a piece of clay and you're trying to push your heel into that block of clay every single time, getting just a little deeper. Now take a peek down at your left knee here. Make sure it's still soft, right? We don't want to stress the joints. You want to feel those thighs working to support the joints. Go push and push and push. Keep the abdominals nice and strong. Shoulders are down. Press. Press now back in one, two, three. Push it. One, two, three. Going. Press, press, press. All right, so Holly, she's staying tall and long. To elongate the back a little more, you can tip your body forward and feel that stretch through the spine. Back, back, back. Good. Press, press, press. Now point your toes. Single pokes. Go back and back. Imagine a dot of paint on your big toe. Every time you put your toe back, feel that dot of paint hit the wall. It's not just about holding the position. It's about maintaining the position, keeping the strength from start to finish. That's what Physique 57 will do to you. You've got two more. Go push. Now raise your left heel with Lauren for the challenge. Poke it back. Ten. One. Go two. This is your final ten at your furniture right now. Go five. So let's make it count here. Seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Gently put your feet down and let's come down to your mat. Lay down on your left side. Now, if you're with Holly, take that thick towel or cushion, wedge it underneath your left side. Make sure your right leg is on top. Bend your knees about 90 degrees. Open the right knee, close. Go open and close. So we call this position our clamshell position here. Take a peek at Lauren. Her hips are stacked evenly. Her shoulders are down. And for a deeper challenge, let's lift her toes off the floor. Yeah, open and close. So in this position, you're gonna feel the flexibility in your hips. You're gonna feel the strength in your seat. And after having worked the back of your body, now let's balance it by working the side. Open and close. Now hold it open, little tiny wrap, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, Lauren, can those toes get a little bit higher? Sure they can. Squeeze and squeeze. Great job, Holly, keeping the hips nice and square, keeping the shoulders stacked. Four more seconds. One, go two, go three. Now gently put your knees down, put your feet down. Stretch your legs to about 45 degrees. Lift your top right leg to hip height. Little tiny pulses. Go pulse. We call this our hairpin position. You want to fan out your five toes flex through your right foot feel the whole side of your seat work going up and up yeah lift and lift so if you're with Lauren give it a try can you try to bend your left knee in about 90 degrees and swing your right foot forward in front of your right hip lift and lift okay we call this our full form hairpin position are you ready to build that heat let's go stretch that heel out flex that foot a little harder lengthen your leg lift and lift and lift and lift can you keep your chin out out of your chest so your posture still stays strong even on the floor we exercise that long posture you've got 10 two three you can do anything for 10 seconds go five 24 hours in a day this is just 10 seconds eight it's nine and ten sit on up bring your feet together let's walk your heels in a little bit closer towards your body and lift your chest Press your elbows into your thighs. If you're with Holly, shift just an inch forward. If you're with Lauren, reach your arms all the way out and dive over your legs. Take another deep inhale. Exhale, let the tension release. Let your hips release 
and then slowly roll all the way on up. Let's make our way back to your bar because when you have a right, you have a left. So here we go, coming back to your furniture. Once again, stand tall, bring your feet together. Step about an arm's distance away. Soften your knees, connect with your core, soften your elbows, lift your left heel, flex your left foot, and press, and in, little press, back an inch, and in, two more slow, just to get the motor going. Okay, now singles, go press, and press, go press, and press. I want you to feel like you have ropes tied around your thighs, right, squeezing those inner thighs a little tighter together. Push and push. Take another peek at Lauren here. Her shoulders are staying down. Her abdominals are staying in. And once again, if you're with Holly, feel that the body weight just goes slightly forward, feeling that length. Good, three times. One, two, three. Go back, back, back. Go press, press, press. Go press, press, press. When you have strong hamstrings when you're pregnant, right, it helps support your entire pelvic floor. So think about that. Think about these benefits. As you go one, two, three, go push, push now, point your toe, poke back, poke back, poke back. Can you keep your left heel just a little bit tighter to your seat? And the more you work your abs, the more you work your seat. So hold on to that sensation going back and back, poke it back further. Look down at your right thigh, look down at your left thigh. Can the left thigh be behind it? If you're with Lauren, go ahead, raise your right heel off the floor, poke it back for the final 10. It's three already. Go four, you're so close. Go six, seven, eight, nine, and gently put your feet down. Let's return down to our mat. If you're with Holly again, make sure you take that thick towel or cushion, wedge it underneath your right side to give you a little more support. Bend your knees about 90 degrees, toes together, open the left knee, open and hover. Good, open and hover. Okay, once again, I got you, Lauren. Hips are stacked. Really imagine you're holding a glass of water on your left hip and trying not to spill it here. That's it, open and close. Can you lift your toes off the floor? Keep your two big toes super glued together. Hold it open, take little tiny reps. Go squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Okay, so maybe the range is smaller, but the sensation is deeper. Go squeeze and squeeze. Still feel Feeling it, Holly. That's it. Feeling the flexibility of your hips. Think your diamond's gonna get a little larger because who doesn't want a larger diamond? That's it. Wrap back, wrap back, wrap back. Four more. Go one, squeeze it two, squeeze it three. Let's put your knees down on the floor. Stretch your legs out long 45 degrees. Lift your top left leg. Little pulses up. Lift and lift. Okay, you know that this is the last side that you have to do right now, right? So get into it. Get into your zone. If you want to close your eyes, you can, but Keep the breath, keep the fluid motion going through your body. Flex your foot, reach it. Lift and lift and lift. Okay, Lauren, staying strong. And if you took that challenge before, take it again. Bend your right knee in 90 degrees. Swing your left leg forward, lift and lift. Imagine my hand lengthening your left ribs down, feeling the length in your right side going up and up and up. Okay, stay strong, you've got this. Lift and lift, flex your foot, fan out your toes. Like I said in the warm up, right? Even your toes get attention. Every inch of you, every inch of your body is gonna feel that burn. And you did it, all right. Sit on up, swing your legs around. Let's extend your legs out in front of you. Sit nice and tall, you deserve that stretch. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Gently press down into the right thigh, just slightly. Open the chest. If you're with Holly, incline one inch forward. If you're with Lauren, try to reach down for your toes. Not only will you feel the stretch in your hips, but you get to elongate through the back and relax your shoulders. Let's take it to the other side. Step the right foot forward, left leg out. Open the chest, turn out the knee and come one inch forward. If you're ready, go for it a little deeper. Stretch towards the toes. Think strength and flexibility, balance in the body. One more deep inhale, exhale. And you are ready to put the finishing touches on your workout with our abdominal section. So find your thick towel or cushion, your playground ball, and let's meet back down on our mat. For your abdominal section, locate your thick towel or cushion. Place it behind your back. If you're with Holly, grab a spare thick towel or cushion for a little more support and make sure it lines up by your shoulder blades. Locate your playground ball. Let's place that ball between your thighs. Hold the backs of your legs. Plant your feet firm to the floor. Now roll down to your C curve. So feel your lower back up against that thick towel or cushion and start to squeeze your playground ball. 
So feel your inner thighs and feel your lower abdominals every time you squeeze. Going in and in and in. Now hold the squeeze. Reach one arm out when you're ready. Reach the other arm out. Now slowly lift the arms up for two and down for two. Now if you're with Holly, I want you to think more about stability rather than curling. Keeping your abdominals strong and flexible. Room to grow there. Go lift for two. Let's take this a little faster now. Going up and down and up and down. And just think that when your core is strong, your entire body is strong. So you're not just working out for one thing here. You're encompassing everything. Go lift and lower. Two more and down. One more. Hold it down. Flip your palms. Go to the right and to the left. Go side and side. Get a little sway in the body here. Think about your pinky finger trying to touch your pinky toe. Side and side. Okay, if you're not feeling it, just get a little lower. Try to stay lower. Resist the temptation to pop up higher. Ten seconds. One, two, three. Think of finishing strong. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Sit all the way up. Roll your shoulders back. Roll back down to your C curve. Left arm off. Twist to the right and open. Twist and open. If you're with Holly, make sure your left hand just touches your right knee. If you're with Lauren, stretch your right arm and take that twist a little deeper, going all the way over. Open. Twist and open. Yeah, twist and open. Feel that you wring out your ribs like a wet towel here. And open. Twist and open. Notice how Lauren's taking her focus with her. Your form follows your focus. Get deeper. Look at your hand. Last time and sit up. Roll your shoulders back. Let's go to the other side. Roll down to your C curve. Right arm goes off. Here we go. To the left. Twist and open. Go twist and open. Once again, notice Holly's holding on. She's making her twist a little smaller. Lauren has her hand off. Now really going for that reach. Go Lauren. Twist and open. Her feet are still firm on the floor. Squeeze your playground ball. Twist and open. Where's your focus? Go towards that heat. Go towards your challenges today. Go twist and open. You have two more seconds. Just two more. Twist and open. Last time. Sit on up and roll your shoulders back. Okay, big finish. Here we come. Roll down to your C curve. Holly's going to stretch her arms out and focus on just crossing her wrists and squeezing the ball. Lauren, bring your arms high. Make this now slow pull it in and stretch pull in and stretch notice how low Lauren's getting every time she stretches her arms ready Lauren let's pick this up here we go pull and pull and pull and pull try not to come up too high maybe that range is smaller but your energy is huge keep pulling keep pulling chin is out of chest you're looking up you're breathing and you're doing an amazing job for your final 10 this is it go forward let's finish your whole workout here five go six go seven how do you want to end this half hour and on ten sit all the way up roll your shoulders back take a deep inhale and exhale amazing job you deserve your stretches so here we go come on to your hands and your knees nice and even between your knees and your palms take a deep inhale for a moment collect your energy and exhale. Round your spine, feeling your shoulder blades open, feeling your back widen. And then release that and arch your back, feeling your abdominal wall stretch after all of that abdominal work. One more time, big round, push your palms into the mat, and then exhale, arch, open up the chest, open up the ribs. Center to neutral between those postures. Lengthen your hips down to your heels, going to a full rest position. Once again, just focusing on your breath, bringing everything to a close here as you roll all the way on up. Swing your legs around. Take your right foot in and slide your left leg out. Put your left elbow down, reach your right arm up and over towards your left toes. Try to open the right shoulder just a little bit more, feeling that length and lift back up. Right leg goes out, left leg comes in. Right elbow down left arm up and over feel the expansion in your left rib cage such a great prenatal stretch to relieve any congestion that might happen in the ribs let's roll all the way up here bring your feet together with holly flex your feet slide your heels out a little bit if you're with lauren reach through the legs lift your arms up take another deep inhale and exhale fold all the way over dropping your head 
and just take a moment of pause to focus on all of your hard work, feeling complete from head to toe. And I hope you join us again. Physique 57, roll on up and have a wonderful rest of your day.